Hey, I'm making this video mainly for the uh, the guys on the high point forum, but anybody that has a high point and is interested in modifying it might want to know a few little hard to find things. Uh, this is a nice aluminum trigger. You can get it from a guy off of the high point forums, Joey something or another. And uh, very nice, very nice trigger. All aluminum. That's one thing that's that you just can't find like just anywhere, right? And another thing is uh, this oversized mag release button, which is I think is just almost mandatory to install. Otherwise, you'll never be able to release the magazine while you're gripping the gun because the other button's too small. So this is great. And uh, this is also from a guy on the High Point forums, but he started listing them on eBay. Another thing, which I don't know if it's mandatory, but it's nicer to have a big charging handle uh, and, and you're not putting your hand on a bolt, you know, something that covers the bolt. This is also a custom part. It's uh, for eBay. The gun, if you get the TS, or if you get the TS upgrade stock, it has a a, a glass fiber polymer rail, which is very bendy, and it's weaver spacing, not Picatinny. It's not mil spec. This is an all aluminum rail. You can also find these on eBay. Heart Tool. Uh, I don't know, 2011, something like that. A Heart Tool. And he also makes a lower rail that's all aluminum. Now I'm not saying you need to have the all aluminum lower rail but if you look at the spacing that this rail gives you it allows you to run an angled foregrip and have that nice space and everything. Uh, or whatever, you can run a bipod, whatever. But these are two also custom parts that you can't get, you know, just unless you look for them hard. The rest of the stuff is just gun stuff. You can find this muzzle brake from High Point directly. You can find these lasers on eBay. You can find all this stuff. This is a Bushnell Holo site. You know, magnifier. All these things are things you, that people put on other guns. But very specific to the High Point would be this custom trigger, which the only place I know to get it is on the High Point forums. This mag release button. And then you can, sometimes you will find things listed on eBay. Not every time. But uh, for a little while there, there were these. I haven't seen them since. And uh, the rails, I think the rails might still be listed on there. Nice stuff to upgrade the gun with to get rid of some of the plastic and, and get some metal on it, you know. Try and get as much metal on the gun as possible. That's how I feel about it anyway. I mean, everybody's got a different opinion on things. But, uh, and that's the, that's the stuff that's real specific to High Point. And I think that... Uh, that once you use something like these uh, 45 degree rapid transition sights, you're going to get hooked. These are awesome. These are so nice. Uh, you can run them with a scope, uh, night vision, uh, holo sight, whatever. Um, these work great. Very accurate for me. Very easy for me to acquire my sight picture. Uh, even though I painted the uh, this part green. It doesn't seem to affect me. You can see the post really good, a little peep. Uh, these, I'm very, very pleased with. Magnifier may be something if you have a red dot or holosite and you don't want to buy a separate scope or think about changing back and forth or you just thought it'd be nice to try and take some longer shots or, or whatever. Not a bad investment at all. Uh, this is a UTG, it's pretty cheap, and it comes off so nice and goes on so nice, you know, I mean, it's not terribly heavy, you could carry that, you know, in your in your range bag or whatever, and then if you did want to take some longer shots, you could just pop it on there, and otherwise just leave it off. Uh, of course, you can put lights, bipods, uh, you know, espresso makers, all kinds of crap all over your gun. I was really interested in just trying to make this into a sweet shooting gun that I had fun uh, modifying. I'm not saying, you know, that the camo or any of this paint or any of this is necessary. That was just me tinkering. I just can't stop tinkering with it. So I started 
cosmetically tinkering with it, which I usually don't bother with cosmetically tinkering with things. I just make them work better. But what the heck, man? What the heck? Something to do, something to have some fun with. And uh, this is just the Alumahide 2 Bernal's Coyote. And it's cured for about one week. And it's hard enough I can touch it and stuff. And it doesn't feel sticky or anything. And this is uh, Hydro Drip from my dip kit. And I, I have no idea how well this is going to hold up. I'm going to find out. And uh, oh, yeah, a little UTG rail. This is something that you really may want to consider uh, with a high point because, see, your whole optics and everything isn't really fastened to your barrel, so to speak. Like a lot of guns, a lot of guns, the rail is basically right on the barrel. And so, hey, you're going to have some super accuracy. Not only are you a lot taller than the barrel with your optics, you know, like this much. So it's, you know, the zeroing thing is always an issue. If you can get something that's really close to your bullet trajectory, like this laser is just right as close as I could possibly get it to the bullet trajectory, you're not going to have very uh, many issues with zeroing. Once you get that thing uh, right, left, up, down, you know, when you're that point blank, you're only going to be two inches low with your, with your laser. And at extreme ranges, if you zero this at the furthest possible range you might ever want to use it, it's just going to go to two inches eventually. And then it'll just get tighter and tighter until it's absolutely perfect. And it's a great way to check your optics. If you have some issue and you're like, huh, I'm not hitting my target, click on the laser and the laser's already dialed in. It's all locked in with set screws and everything. It's a great way to assure that you still are zeroed. And I can find with the high point, tactical stock, maintaining a zero is, uh, it has a lot to do with how much you're flexing the stock. Got a lot of cross section here. This area here is extremely thin, about less than an eighth of an inch of plastic in here. It's just pinned here and here. Stock flexes this way, it twists, especially if you have a vertical foregrip and you're torquing that thing back and forth. You'll watch that holo sight move all over the place compared to the laser. So I really think the laser is a great thing. It's not just another doodad to stick on the gun. Oh, isn't that cool? I got a laser. This laser has is proven its worth to me just by allowing me to zero my holo over and over <laughs> as it keeps changing. One other little mod that's specific to high point, but you can find them different places, but also on eBay is from Brass Decker, are these oversized shroud bolts. These are quarter inch diameter bolts. And so you have to drill the receiver, drill the stock, drill the shroud, and all that. So if you're up for that, these may help pen everything together a little tighter with less slop, depending on how good you do your job. Um, and that's pretty much it on the uh, the monkey gun here. My little chunky monkey. Chunky monkey has some weight. Now, I didn't weigh it before and after, but in the classic stock, the thing was a featherweight. It, it felt like about as heavy as my pistol. And then now with everything all over it, the thing is a beast. It's like, it's, it's, it's actually, it feels heavier than my shotgun. It's about the same. Probably very close to the same weight as my shotgun. With the wood stock. <laughs> a lot of metal on the gun. So you got to think about that. High Point built a simple, reliable, lightweight gun that you could abuse and use and never worry about malfunctioning. And if you get in there and you start fiddling and tinkering and tweaking and change this, I'm going to add this, I'm going to you're just adding weight. And you may not get anything except a custom gun out of the deal. You may not get a better gun. It'll just be a custom gun. I honestly think that high point, just the way it comes in the classic, shoots like a dream with the iron sights. It's, it's awesome. There's really no reason to do anything to that gun. Just shoot it with iron sights and have fun. But I thought... How far can you go with this? And I learned a lot from it. I learned that there's a lot of areas that you really can't get what you want out of this platform because it's too wiggly, it's too soft, the plastic's too soft, it's too squishy. But um, you know, there might be ways around that. I really don't know. Short of making my own stock out of laying it up out of something really stiff like carbon fiber or something, I can't imagine how you would do it because this is 
It's just not, it doesn't, it's not conducive to making a wood stock or something. Oh, and I took the springs out here. That This tactical stock comes with springs and this thing goes doing, doing, doing. And I really didn't like that. It just annoyed the crap out of me. So I took the springs out of it and I just tightened it all the way in. So that's about it, I guess. I keep saying that, but... Yeah, I, I love projects. I love tinkering. I love doing things. And this uh, high point, I would really highly recommend to anybody that's a tinkerer that's also into guns. If you haven't... If you haven't tinkered with a high point, you really should. And you should get the oldest one you can so that you can enjoy the total transformation. Because the new ones come with a stock like this. And it's more fun, in my mind, to take something that looks like uh, it came out of a science fiction movie in the 90s and then make it look like it came out of a science fiction movie in the uh, 2000s. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope that pegged your fun meter if you're a high point fan. And uh, if not, why the heck are you watching this video about a high point gun if you're not a high point fan? There must be something wrong with you. Maybe you are a high point fan, you just don't know it yet. All right, RW here. Little Mountain, the shop. Coming to you semi live, semi hard, semi pro. <laughs> Y'all have a great Friday.